What's up, nerdlings? What's up? Do you nerd for Mega Man? He can't be beat. The bird. Sorry. Tom and Lady Lacey of Do You Nerd here celebrating 35 amazing years of Mega Man. Mostly amazing years because believe it or not, as iconic as the series is, the first game actually didn't sell that well. In fact, the only reason a sequel was allowed was if the development team agreed to work on other projects as well. Which is funny because the second one is the best selling one. Hmm. When it comes to Mega Man games, again, I really didn't grow up with the games, but I did grow up with Nintendo Power. In fact, this issue with Mega Man 3 was my very first issue of Nintendo Power. So, for that reason, I read this thing cover to cover probably 538 times. I knew Mega Man 3 like the back of my hand without ever even playing the game. But I mean, come on, it's Nintendo Power. How awesome is it to have all of these great maps, which, by the way, back in the day were painstakingly made out of screenshots. They had to paste all this together. So yeah, I had the power, Nintendo power. All I needed was the game. <laughs> so on that note, let's share another memory from one of our fellow nerdlings. This time we are turning it over to AAA game developer Mike, Retro Gamer Boy. What's Mega Man to you? As a games developer, I think Mega Man's had a huge influence, like a massive cultural influence on, on the whole games industry, from level design uh, to theme uh, to artwork. Um, and it's, it's just one of those games that's now become enshrined in popular culture within gaming. Uh, it, it's everywhere, right? Um, and I love Mega Man. I love like the world of Mega Man. I've watched like manga, read books. Um, played a ton of games where you get loads of Mega Man power-ups and stuff like that. Um, was it one of the zombie games? Is that zombie game that you get and you can dress up as Mega Man? All that kind of stuff. Uh, really love about Mega Man. And so I'm really into the pop culture of Mega Man. But I've never played Mega Man. Ever. As much as I love it, I've never ever played a Mega Man game in my entire life. As much as it's had such a, uh, an influence on games development, uh, and uh, games developers around the world, including myself, I've never played it. Um, so that's something I need to kind of sort out and resolve for myself. But I think Mega Man has had a huge cultural effect on, on not only the games industry, but gamers. It's iconic, you know, he's as iconic as, as, as probably Mario and as Sonic is. Um, and I think probably one of the most loved characters and franchises even amongst gamers that have never experienced the game. So Mega Man is uh, a, a phenomenon in the games industry and within, within gaming that uh, few other games uh, manage to match. You know, Mike's first time playing a Mega Man game was live at the arcade, so he played it in front of everybody. Do your best not to miss with the shots. Always being a bastard and running in for one. Go! Oh! They, it bounce. It bounce. Get close to him. It, oh. it goes over the top. I hate this game. <laughs> In the NES one, as you throw it, it breaks into three. So they've changed how the attack works. Oh my god! Having played Mega Man now, I can say I, I love it. It's very cool. On that note, please be sure to check out Mike's channel in the description down below. And as for you, nerdlings, leave some of your own mega memories in the comment section below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe, notification bell. There are more Mega Man memories coming your way. Excuse me. Good brush up on my Mega Man 3. Well, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check out our merchandise. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it. Needle Man. That was a nightmare and a half. Bye, nerdlings.